I thought this was a really fun thing to do with watermelon. I already have made the, I'm not going to make the frosting, I've already got it made, but I did want to show you on the pineapple, this is a, this is a half a can of um, crushed pineapple and it says to um, really dry it, whatever, and you can see it's really dry. <laughs> And this is just, this is the way you want it. So I squeezed it and squeezed it. It's almost like when you're using uh, frozen spinach. Can everybody see that? It's really dry. You don't want to have any extra moisture when you start to mix it with the cream cheese. And you can see there is no extra moisture here. I am on the watermelon petit fours with pineapple cream cheese frosting. And like I said, I'm not going to make this, everybody can see, but I wanted to show you that it ha the pineapple needs to be this dry so that you see on here there's no water. If, we did, if I didn't dry that this much, you'd see water or the pineapple juice seeping out of here, and then you got watery frosting with watery melon and not a good combination. So you want to make sure that this is really dry before you mix it with the cream cheese. Yeah, we'll put that back. It looks kind of gross, but it is pineapple. And that's a half a can, if you can believe it. A half of a big can. The cream cheese is softened, right? The cream cheese is softened, and I just put it in the uh, mixer. And then we're going to cut the pine. I cut the watermelon. So we've got this frosting. And I cut the um, watermelon in little tiny squares. The pine, now you have to make it yourself. The um, cream cheese is in the dairy. I use the crushed pineapple. So we've got a little crushed pineapple, the cream cheese, I accidentally ripped the box, a little powdered sugar. So the recipe's right there. And you just put it in, yeah, you just put in a mixer and mix it up. That's okay. All right, so we've got our little watermelon squares. Aren't they cute? <laughs> Magic! With the big watermelon knife! Hmm. Now the way, and I will show you because uh, that's um, to get pieces like that. But I'm going to go ahead and decorate them for you. Let's get these off the plate here. Wipe our plate off. Because this, uh, this is a little fun dessert thing. So we're going to put our squares on the plate. And you're just going to put a little bit. You have to be real patient with this sometimes. It doesn't want to stay on the watermelon. Did you kind of rock the watermelon to dry it in? I didn't. I, now, I did cut this earlier today, but I didn't put it on paper towel or anything. Um, and it's, it's not real dry, but it's not real, real wet. Okay, then we're going to put another little piece on here. Oops. Take that seed out of our seedless watermelon. Okay. Oops, one more. Okay. All right, then you're going to take this and put a little bit more on the top. And this is a nice little refreshing dessert thing. And you can make, you can cut these bigger if you like. I happen to like the little sizes. Or you could put them in little papers so they're easier for people to take off a platter. And we're going to take our blueberries. Oh, 
And look at how festive this is. And it's a good time for blueberries. They are on sale. And they're giant. I was like, I wanted the little. OK. And there's our little pettifors, which I think is really cute. It's very refreshing, whatever. Um, with the watermelon, you can also, um, and I'll show you how to cut that, but I also made like a little red, white, and blue little fruit cup that you could add a little uh, bit of whipped cream on the top. You could do that. As far as cutting the watermelon, I cut it in half, you see. No. This one I just did watermelon and blueberries, and I have a little bit of whipped cream on the top just to give it a little white. But I cut this in thin, about half inch slices. And you gotta do this with a big sharp knife. And then I cut it in half, took the rind off. And then I just and you can eat that little piece and sort of squared this off. And then you've got nice squares. And if you needed to make them bigger, you could do that. I felt these were nice. You know, you can make them bigger you needed to do that. And you can make these just one layer if you like and do the same thing if you find that you have a bigger crowd. Whatever. So when you've got your sweets, there's not a whole lot of sugar in this. Um, as far as added sugar, as you can, I think it's what, just a quarter of a cup of powdered sugar, which isn't a whole lot. Okay, so you can make them single layer if you needed to. Okay, so that's our little watermelon dessert. And if you needed to uh, do this, I don't know if you use one of the melon ballers. The only thing I don't like about this is to me it's a lot of waste of your fruit because you, they're, that's beautiful, but you've got all this in between left. You thought what? Yeah. Yeah, you can then eat in the in the middle. Now, you, you know, if you wanted to do like a little fancy um, boat out of your watermelon, this would be a good way to, you know, get all get the whole filling out if you wanted to make a basket or I think one time I made a whale. If you cut, you know how the watermelon's like this long and if you cut, you got to cut it like that and then make a, no you don't cut the tail off, you make a sort of a head, that's what you do. The head's on this side and just sort of a oval it up here and then the back you make the tail and of course you draw on it first. Don't do it freehand <laughs> where you want to cut out and then um, clean the whole thing out and you've got like a little whale shape. It's real cute. Baskets or whatever are a lot easier. So you can just put those in a little glass and like I said this is, to me it wastes a lot of watermelon but then while you're making it like you said you could have a little snack. Okay. Mm -hmm.